Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we've got something that's in my comfort zone. We've got a laptop, it's not broken, just needs a service. Let's get into it. So we have a Dell Inspiron something or other. Client says it's running a bit hot. Let me just make sure it does boot. It appears to boot. Not as quick as I might expect. Okay, it boots. Let's shut it down. Let's get into it. You see those screw posts. Yeah, that's not great. That's not great, but the clip should hold them in. Um, I'll be talking to the client, the customer, and obviously it's on video. So that is what it is. Um, now, first things first, I know we've got the battery is also being changed on this one so we can remove this guard there we go in this we have a WDX0R new battery. WDX0R again, not in the best condition, but nothing there that worries me. Just get this one back in here. It wasn't that screw, it was that screw. And that screw. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but the fan is absolutely filthy. The board isn't in a fantastic state. What have we got? We've got eight gig of DDR4. We'll take that, put that to one side. Next, let's take the um, heatsink off. Three short screws there. And we want to undo the fan if at all possible. Just take any time because these connectors are so flimsy. So flimsy. Hopefully this now separates from the board. We have a ribbon connector. Just gonna try and see how that's connected.
nice and sticky, good. And there's the fan, free, as you can see, looks like, I don't even know what it looks like, dry thermal paste. However, something we have to consider is that this ribbon connector came from underneath the board. So before we go ahead and service this, I'm going to have to lift the board up and reconnect that ribbon cable. Finally got this ribbon connector back in. I actually had to take all the screws out of the board, um, take the board out completely because the connectors on the other side, which is, yeah, that is the nature of the beast. So next step is to get all of this crusty crap cleaned. And the same with the heat sink. Before I forget, There's a tiny little GPU we get in these things. Give them a spot. Now, if you're going to use IPA to clean these, um, give it a few minutes, allow it to dry. And in the meantime, what I will do is go and take care of this. Much better, I'm sure you will agree. Some um, MX4, difficult to get the perfect amount. That is more than enough. In fact, that's probably too much. And that's definitely too much, but not enough that it will hurt. Good. All that's left to do now is give it a clean on the outside.
And there we have it. One clean and mini serviced laptop. Keyboard's had a clean, screen has been cleaned. Top has been cleaned, he says. Top's been cleaned, that's another one, good to go.